Hey, Brendan here from Blue Light, and for those of you who haven't seen any of my videos before, over the past several years I've been coaching and supporting people through the police recruitment process. I use a number of vehicles to do that. In the links below, you'll see some online courses, seminars, and uh, links to my one to one coaching. I also provide a Facebook support group that has, it's getting over 6,000 people in it now, uh, which is all just geared around police recruitment. So something I'm very pleased about, it's really growing well. What a fantastic community of interest it is. So welcome to York. Uh, here we are at the Marriott Hotel where I've just finished a day of one-to-one -one coaching for someone who is going to their police assessment centre very soon, the National Assessment Centre, not the new Metropolitan Police Day 1. One of the things that we covered is integrity. So from positive action workshops around the country, I believe you might just get a question on integrity and the code of ethics. So one of the things that we looked at right from the very beginning was the definition of integrity. So if we're going to start talking about integrity, we need to know what it actually is. And this is a definition I really like. You can Google it and find all sorts of definitions. But this one's mirrored by the Police Competency and Values Framework, which talks about a very similar thing. I kind of like this one. You can't go wrong with this one. Doing the right thing in difficult or challenging circumstances, even when no one is watching. So it's part of the Code of Ethics, uh, which also includes a load of other values and standards of behaviour. You need to be able to describe that, what it's about, why we've got the Code of Ethics, what the back, what's the background to it. Um, and here's an interesting question that we explore today. How, how will I demonstrate integrity? How will I demonstrate integrity? So we spent about 20 minutes working on this and what my client has got now is an outstanding answer, I think, about how they're going to demonstrate integrity as a police officer and why it's so important that they do so. So for those of you my clients, I can remind you that there's videos on this on my online course, uh, Interview Preparation 1 to 4, the first module, uh, which you can find on YouTube as well. If you Google it, it's one of the most watched YouTube videos I have on my channel, um, which is all about the Code of Ethics. The second video is all about integrity and how that links with the Code of Ethics. The third one looks at um, when the police demonstrate integrity, organisational justice, procedural justice, it then leads to enhanced legitimacy within the community, the extent to which the police are seen as a part of the community as opposed to apart from it, and then it becomes easier for the police to do community engagement. Now, uh, we covered community engagement today as well because I believe you might just need to answer a question on something to do with community engagement. And um, we had a really good discussion around that. We're really turning the definition of community engagement on its head. More about that in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you'd like to find out a little bit more, like I said, the blurb's down there. Click on the link, join the Facebook group, get involved. Um, and for those of you who are my clients, uh, please keep asking questions. Please keep watching the videos. The hard work is in the rehearsal. Keep practicing, 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 and you'll nail it on the day. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye for now.